Have you ever felt so lazy you couldn't even lift up a finger? Have you ever felt so lazy you just want to sit back like a king even though you have a lot of chores to do? Guys, I get there every day. I mean like every day. And so I was trying to look for a solution and uh, I bumped into something which I thought maybe could help. I tried it out and I'm trying to see if it's just a gimmick or it actually works. Something that will help my laziness, not help me do more work, but help me get things done when I'm not the one doing them. So guys, in our video today, we'll be doing a test of a concept to see if it works or it doesn't. Should you get it or you shouldn't? So guys, just stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're welcome back guys. I hope you did subscribe to the channel as requested. And from there, straight into our video of today. So guys, today we'll be doing a testing of a concept and the concept is robot cleaning, automatic robot cleaning. And today we are doing the, a test on uh, model D502 smart robot cleaner. I'll just show you what it came with. This is what this device looks like. This is what it is. It has a power button. Below it, as you can see, I've been using it, and this is all dirt from what I've been using. This is a, uh, a mop pad. It comes two of them. Here are the brushes. Comes in two sets. So this is one set, and this is another. Below is uh, a universal wheel which can rotate to any direction. It has two charging contacts. So you see this, these are the charging contacts. And then the, here are the wheels. I call them the driving wheels because this one is only for direction, but this one moves the device. And then on the inside, if I press this, I open see this here is the dust box so this is where the dust goes into when it's done picking and this is what it looks like so this is for big particles and here is for dust here guys this is the charging dock the charging station they call it the charging dock so it has these metal pins where the contacts sit on for it to charge it has an infrared sensor and charging indicator. Just so I don't forget, here it also has infrared sensor. So this is an infrared sensor. Here is another one. Here is another one. So this is how it works. It prevents it from falling over uh, places. So if it detects that there is no object here, it, will, it goes back. That is how that works. And then... Uh, what else? This is what the properties are. Uh, this is model D502, uh, 7.4 volts uh, with 12 watt power rating, and then a 2000 milliampere R battery. This is what this is. And it's uh, 1.1 kg. And uh, let's see what else. Here it's, it's a remote control. This is what it uses to work. And uh, you have to use this. So you can power this on by using the remote. So just see from the button. I don't know if you can see, it's turned blue. So that's the power. And that is how that works. Oh. Pardon guys, my neighbors are playing music. I hope this doesn't get to disturb it that much. So, I put this aside. So, 
The manual says it does suction, sweeping, and mopping. Guys, before I move forward, I would like to say this is not a branded version of a robot cleaner. There are branded versions, maybe from Xiaomi, from Samsung, from all other companies that produce Philips, that produce uh, vacuum cleaners. This is an OEM version. OEM, OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. And what that is, is um, manufacturers produce goods like this, all kinds of goods, and then companies come and purchase and then brand them and maybe produce softwares or apps that can make this device work well. So, for example, uh, Samsung could go to the same company that produced this, buy it, brand it, and then produce um, software that would make it work well. So that is where the difference is. Branded um, devices would have an added advantage of having better softwares from the company and a brand on it. That's, I think that's what the difference, the major difference is. Down to how this thing works. So guys, I've done the test for the mopping, the suction, and the sweeping. And I can tell you the best part of it is sweeping. Sweeping and suction, actually. Sweeping and suction options work really well, but the mopping, mm, the mopping doesn't. The mopping option really doesn't do it for me in my option. It, it, it's not that good, so. Um, but one thing that happens is, most of the time it um, gets lost among things. So if you have so many things in the area you want to clean, this device may get confused and bump into things here and there, here and there. And I think the reason is this one has the infrared sensors below, but it doesn't have on the site. I would guess that a premium version would have infrared sensors on the site so it can detect objects and move away. But this device will bump into objects, turn before it turns the other way and all that. And that's not so good for me. I don't think it's the best way it should work. But it doesn't really hit that hard because this front part has kind of, I would say a shock or an absorber, something like that. So when it hits, it, it, it doesn't really have much of an impact on the device because it does kind of a, a soft an absorption and then it turns. It manages to find itself back to the charging dock every time you press the home button, but sometimes it can sway away and, and go, I don't know, maybe the signal is not strong enough or maybe it goes way too far that the signal doesn't reach it anymore. And sometimes it goes to several places trying to find the signal, trying to find the signal. Though in the end, it always gets back to the charging dock. But the sweeping, it does an amazing job. The sweeping, it may take quite a while to do all the sweeping, but it does it well. It goes over some places twice, keep over other places before getting back to. But in the end, in my experience, I've had it good. So in the remote control, you have three options. So you have the first one, which is cleaning in round circles. So it pays more emphasis in a particular place and cleans it in, in circles. And then the second one is cleaning from the edges. So it starts from the edges and is cleaning inwards. And then this one is kind of a zigzag front, back, front, back, front, back. That is how this one works. But guys, this device could run better if you had a software. If a, there was a software you could use in automating this, it would work better. Also remember, this was like a solution to my laziness, but I still have to clean up the area for it to work. Like shift things to make it have space to work. And the second part is I still have to sit next to it and use a remote control. That kind of takes away the smart, total smartness of it. It's smart, but total smartness. 
For example, I would guess the premium versions you can use an app and when you're not even in the house, give it a command to clean while you're away or maybe to clean when you're sleeping or stuff like that. So guys, this is what this is. And uh, I don't know, from this, do you think the concept is worth trying? Do you think robot cleaning is even a thing you want to try? I don't know. For me, I'm enjoying the experience. Some days it's not so good. Other days it's amazing, almost flawless. But like I said in the beginning, if you want to see a better review, if you can, if you may, you can sponsor one of the videos by providing a premium version of a robot cleaner. No from Samsung, from Xiaomi, whichever one, just one that has better options than this. So maybe at that point, I'll do a comparison between the OME version and the branded version from that particular company. Maybe that will serve better. But for now, I'm enjoying my laziness. And that is what it is. This, besides just doing the work, it's cool. I never had toys as a kid and sometimes I use it like one, play around, pull it around the, the house. But at least I know there are premium versions, branded premium versions, which definitely works better than this. Anything better than this for me is good. It's good. If I can get it, I will. And hopefully I would in the near future. And maybe I'll show you if you don't get it to me first. If you did like the video, please click on the like button. Just give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe go a step further by sharing the video. And until the next video with my lazy self, peace.